Rondell Hubbard coming to the ring. Right now, brings in a, uh, an 11 and five and one record. Very legitimate. And he's gonna be taking on uh, Manny Lopez, who is uh, 12, two and one, and one of Colorado's really fun boxers to watch. Yeah, we watched him in- uh, That's right, Italy. that's right. And I, I believe in looking at him, he, uh, he's looking a little leaner. I think he's coming down a weight class uh, than we saw him in Greeley. He has refined a lot of his game. And he has really, um, he's really t uh, sharpened up a lot of the tools. I'm actually excited, and, and I know he's in better shape. I'm excited to see kind of what he brings to the table tonight against Rondell Hubbard. Yeah, I, I don't know much about Rondell Hubbard. Um, I do know that in uh, Manuel Lopez, we, what I saw was uh, in Greeley, he fought a very savvy, oh, yeah. older veteran that had a couple, yeah, it was close to 150 boxing yeah, matches. Right. And I really seen a lot of... Yeah, I was really impressed with his performance at uh, Greeley yeah. in his last boxing match. He got to fight a very seasoned veteran, and I believe there was a, a change of uh, information given to him. I really seen that, you know, that that old veteran rubbed off a lot of skills in him, and I think we're going to see a much more confident and savvy uh, boxer tonight. And much more improved Manny Lopez. Yeah, and I mean, he... he when I seen him at Wayne's, he looked in better shape. He looked oh, yeah. like he was he was taking it up everything a little a notch more. So it'll be exciting to this see. This will be fun. As I mentioned before, Rondale Hubbard brings a uh, an 11, 5, and 1 record. This is a 144 pound pro bout. And he's gonna be taking on Manny Lopez, like we said, bringing a 12-2-1 record to the ring. And I'm really excited for this young man. Yeah, he's a very scrappy guy. Very. He, he's, a, he's tough, he knows he's tough, he knows he's durable, but he's got a lot of skills in addition to that. I love the way that Manny Lopez uses his waist, bends at the waist very, very well, comes back with a lot of torque when he strikes, I'm actually curious to see if his improvements in his conditioning and his improvements from, just like you said, from fighting a veteran the way he fought, I'm curious to see if that shows up tonight. Manny Lopez wearing the white trunks, white gloves. Rondale Hubbard coming to us in the black and gold. And being this a pro boxing match, they're going down to eight ounce gloves. That's exactly right. A little right. smaller gloves. Ooh, right after it. I think Rondale Hubbard did not like the fact that Manny Lopez didn't want to touch gloves. <laughs> Lopez did a good job covering up. I don't know yeah. that he took too many of those shots. Agreed, took him on the gloves, yep. And that's his style. He likes to come in, high guard, and come back. And he's very patient, he's sl notoriously slow starter. But one of the things that you take into consideration when you're fighting Manny Lopez is that he gets stronger as the fight goes on. And that's a scary guy, you know? I mean, you're talking about a guy that can literally absorb whatever you're dishing out and then comes back stronger. I love the way that Lopez always keeps his chin anchored to his chest, as it, it's almost his trademark. And I'm always curious as to see is how somebody that comes in from out of town deals with the altitude in a longer fight. So all this is gonna be very, very um, telling as the fight progresses. 
Yeah, absolutely. And you see how Manny just keeps with him. Even though he's blocking them shots, he makes sure to step forward. And uh, leans put heavy. Him, yeah. Put him in that corner, yeah. and he finds those openings and, and explodes on them. And, and Manny Lopez is a master at using those elbows to keep your, his opponent locked into that corner. It is something that he does so well. Yeah, he seems very comfortable there. He's a pocket fighter. You know, he's been that guy. He's always been a guy that's comfortable in the pocket, very, very dangerous. And like I said, you know, as that fight goes on, you know, he gets stronger. Yeah, we're already seeing that kind of change. Yeah. Looks like Manny has a little bit of a size difference. Not much, but it definitely looks like he's got a little bigger uh, body. Little yeah, bigger I, I agree with that, too. He's, he's very, very big legs, very stable uh, anchor, and, and, and he utilizes that really well. That's kind of what I was talking about before with the way that he uses that lateral bend in the waist to come up with extreme power when he comes up. But I'll tell you right now is Rondell Hubbard is actually, you know, creating the offense right now, landing at Ooh. will with those uppercuts. Nice work going back to it yeah. as it keeps landing. Way to find an opening. And now you're gonna see Manny Lopez start putting heavy pressure on Rondell Hubbard as, as he's getting more and more comfortable with this fight as it progresses. And there's a cheeky little overhand right just like that. Yeah, he's very aware in these, these tight clinch when to throw. Like you said, I was watching, he was smothering those punches with his elbows, yep. doing a good job keeping, marking those arms so that he knows when they come up or block. That's right, him. very That's right. good. Good first round for both of these guys, actually. Yeah, very good first round. We got to see Hubbard come out very fast, and we've seen it, a little change. Lopez well, didn't seem bothered at all by that, That's that right. initial storm. That's right. I almost, you know, there's, there's certain fighters that they need to get hit before they kind of start doing something. Manny Lopez is that guy. Yeah, I mean, we see that he, he comes in kind of like the Justin Gaethje. You know, he gets that high guard, likes to let them feel comfortable and comes out. Yeah. You know, um, that's a style that works for him. We're starting to see later he got in the, later on in the round, he got a little more active. I think he's gonna come out this second round a lot more active. Yeah, and, and you know, we see that as we take a look at the Blue Core Shooting Center replay here. We see the inside work, very tight work right there. Really within each other's strike range. Second round, we're, we're gonna. Okay, here we go. Second round. Oh, right Beautiful away, jab. steps in. Beautiful jab. And I think that if Manny Lopez can get that jab established, he can create a lot of problems for Rondell Hubbard. And I actually think that for Rondell Hubbard, the same. If he can keep Manny Lopez away with the jab, it's a problem. Yeah, and I think this is a good time for Lopez to put the pace on him. Definitely. See, see if this altitude will play a yes. bigger effect yes. in the, the fight. Nice. Nice to see Manny staying active in there. Yep. You know, we don't think them shots stay much, but they're adding up. They're showing that he's keeping after it. Nice uppercut. Yep. He loves to go to that overhand there. He finds a home for it. Nice job working the body as well. Very, very savage inside fighter is Manny Lopez. I love watching him work. Yeah, he's, you can tell he's very aware of what's happening in there with both hands. And, and remember, when, when Manny Lopez leans on you like that, he exhausts people. We saw that in Greeley. Do you remember that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and that's a, a lot of people don't see oh. that. You know, unless you've experienced right. that, you that's felt right. that weight on there, you don't really uh, you don't see understand that happening. It. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is really where Manny Lopez makes his money, right here. Inside, digging to the body, coming up to the head. And it, again, it, watch for that rotation that I talked about, coming up oh, to the head. Oh, good. good break there as he steps back. He just kind of finding those openings inside there. He's really good at feeling what's coming opening and then creating openings. 
Nice. Good body yeah. work. Two right hands in a row there. I like both. I like what I'm seeing out of both these guys. Another inside uppercut right there lands beautifully for Lopez. And I think I'm starting to see a little bit of Rondell Hubbard having to kind of play defense from the volume that we're seeing from Manny Lopez inside. Yeah, I think he's getting a little bit sucked into Lopez's yeah. game yes. there. Yes. I think that's a mistake if he stays in that inside. You know, he came out aggressive at the beginning. I think he should go back to that. It's trying to stay long. Agreed. It looks to me a little bit like Rondell Hubbard is slowing down just a little bit. You know, and that could make sense for why he's staying in playing Lopez's game. Yes. Nice. Good round, good. Very good, good round. round. You said it earlier, Sam. This is where we see the levels jump in terms of skill, technique, endurance, power, picking the right shots at the right time. That's what we're seeing right now. Yeah, and I think also one more thing that you can add is playing a game. There's multiple levels in, yeah. in fighting. Yeah. And uh, I believe Lopez is getting it to the game that he wants to play. He gets to play on that smother inside game. He likes to, to roll on that shoulder, come over the top. We see it right here. He does a really good job going to the body and then opening up that head. Exactly right. I think that's the game he wants to play, and I think he talked uh, Hubbard into doing it. He did, and, and the, the way that he's able to do that is he kind of turns it into a brawl a little bit. You know, he'll brawl with you a little bit to suck you into his game. And then once he does that, the volume output is really where he starts to really take over. But it's definitely a calculated brawl. He's yeah, paying yeah, attention. Yeah. He's, yeah. Like you said, he's blocking with his elbows. Yeah. He, he's feeling and touching. And I'll tell you, he's in fantastic shape right now, too. I love the way he keeps a nice, high, tight defense. He's always done that. Yeah, like you said, he keeps that chin down. Ver Hubbard's anchor. chin's a little up in the yep. air right now. Yep. And, and those types of hooks is where that ends up paying off. I'd like to see Lopez use that jab a little more. He's successful when he uses it. Just got, there, yep. and he, perfect timing. I actually think Lopez is... is uh, doing better on the outside than he thinks he is. I'd like to see him keep it there a little bit because he's had good success with that jab. You know, you're just basically watching a seasoned fighter right there. You know, a guy that's, what, I don't know, 15, 16 fights, pro fights. You're, you're seeing, uh-oh, that was a little bit of a low blow and a, and a big overhand right from Manny Lopez then. I don't like that. <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, you know, Rondell Hubbard's actually looks, it seems as though he's almost getting a second wind right now, and he looks okay. He looks very comfortable, relaxed, um, doing, a, doing a good job in this round of dealing with that smothering type of fight that Lopez brings. <sighs> he needs to make some efforts to get out of that, yes, that corner, does. though. Yes, You know, you, you can't just leave and play with fire the whole time. Staying in that yeah. corner is fire. That's the wrong place in the fight especially with a guy like, like Lopez that does keep such a nice tight defense. And there he does, he gets out of there. A little slow on recognizing that. That to me is a sign of fatigue. And I think that you're seeing he's skilled, but he's getting a little fatigued. I love the angles that I see when he does that, steps to the side, comes over the top. I think more of that is gonna help. You know, uh, even, Lopez. Even in that exchange there, Lopez put his weight on him. Yes, he did. You know, he just dropped his weight on him. He knew he was going to get a break, but he said, hey, I'm going to let my weight sit on him, so he has to hold it. I think you're seeing, okay, now I'm starting to see a little bit more fatigue out of Hubbard, and I'm starting to see a little more uh, heaviness in the punches of Lopez, and he's landing a clubbing yeah. overhand right. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Love triple that triple jab. Down. Or triple hook, beautifully done. This is right now, this is a Manny Lopez fight. This is definitely where he wants it. And Hubbard's making a mistake going and trading with yep, power. Yep. Lopez definitely looks like he's got more snap on them punches right now. And uh, setting them up pretty good. And nice. Right there. That's what I was talking about a second ago. Exactly. Step to the left, come over the top with the right hand, lock the, lock the opponent in with those elbows, and keep him in that corner and punish him. And that's what you're seeing Lopez doing. Looks to me like Rondell Hubbard's definitely getting a little bit tired. 
Oh, yeah. Very heavy, deep breath. Put his hands right on the ropes right oh, away. Yeah. Yeah, another thing go. with that is body shots take it away. Absolutely. You know, it takes a lot out of your conditioning getting hit in the body over and over. For a lot of our younger viewers that are watching, the body blow, body blow. You remember those gaming that just sucks the energy right out of you. It's literally like a meter. And what you see is as this fight progresses, again, we're in the fourth round, coming into the fourth round right now. This right here is where Manny Lopez starts to put the pressure on. Absolutely. I mean, I couldn't agree more. I think that Lopez played that perfect. He got a good feeling process out. Um, he's able to, he, he lured him into his game. I think Lopez is wide open. I think he should go doing some of that jab, playing that long range. He's doing great inside. Add another layer up. Yeah. Make Hubbard guess a little more, put more stuff out there. That little angle change we've seen that he did in the corner, I love that because that too. puts him out of the way of punches and then can get him some nice straight shots. And, and the really, you know, he's hitting the sweet spot. He's looking for that temple. He's looking for the jaw. He's looking for just under the ear. I mean, all those spots, that's what sets up that shot, those shots. The other thing that I love about Manny Lopez is his footwork. He, keep, he keeps a nice wide base too. And that's where you derive a lot of power. Yeah, and you see here, he, we're in the fourth round, and Manny hasn't given up that guard at all. Not at all. That one snuck in a little bit, but, man, he does a very good job keeping that guard up. Very, very disciplined fighter is Manny Lopez. And this is where the combos start coming in. Nice. Yeah, you're seeing him really feel comfortable opening up with that power. Yep. But it's calculated power. You know, he's waiting for the shots that he wants. You can see he's using over and over the, 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 that overhand right that he likes. He likes to torque his body. And that's what I was talking about, yeah. And he loves, he loves to cut off the ring. And he's excellent at doing that. Inside body work going on right now, coming up to the head, combinations. This is a Manny Lopez fight. Yeah, and Hubbard, he needs to try to circle out. He needs to get out of here because he's just taking too much. Got to move out nice. of there. Yeah. That one come through. He's Hubbard's taking some good shots. I think it's starting to really wear on him. I, I think you're seeing the body attack kind of slowing down Hubbard right now. And again, this is where Manny Lopez picks up the pace. Yeah, Hubbard looks like he's breathing heavy, having a hard time picking those hands up. I think that for Hubbard, in order for him to be effective right now, he's got to get outside. He's got to keep that jab. Got to keep Manny Lopez away from him because if Manny Lopez gets in and smothers you, goes to the body like that, he's not throwing one shot. He's throwing combinations, and that's a big problem. Absolutely. I agree. Uh, getting after that jab for Hubbard would be key. Keeping Manny at bay, being a little more aware of that ring and not yes. letting Lopez just push him into the ropes or the corner. And that's what he's done very, very well. He's excellent at cornering people. He's excellent at cutting off the ring. He's excellent at keeping you locked into one position to where he can literally tee off on you with combinations to the body and head. And, and you there's see, that rotation I talked about. And you see him being uh, more effective in the inside, that he's able to, to generate more power by turning his body out exactly. with his rolls. Big right hand over the top. Lands for Lopez. He might have Rondell Hubbard in trouble right now. now we got 20 seconds left. I think we're going to see Lopez just pour it on here. Hubbard hasn't made a an effort to get his back off them ropes. I think he's trying to solve the riddle of smothering pressure, and I'm not sure if staying against the rope, I mean, I know that staying against the ropes is the wrong idea against a guy that fights like Manny Lopez. Absolutely. You know, and you gotta wonder, is he falling into the letting, trap? Yes. Yeah, in letting his ego, yes. I, I'd call it an ego trap that he, he, he wants to not show weakness, That's that he's right. tough enough to take it and fight him at his own game. Definitely looks tired, taking some deep, deep breaths. breaths. Lopez now, he, looks calm. He looks fresh. He really does. This is uh, this is normal for him. You know, he, I, I'm telling you, he he's got he's got the type of style and he's got the type of pace that really can be a problem for anybody. Absolutely. And when you're you're able to keep the pace and the style you like. Much more efficient with it. No question. And, and here as we take a look at this Blue Core Shooting Center replay, nice. Sam, what I'm seeing from Manny Lopez is, again, that stifling offense that he puts on you prevents him from taking any hard shots. Yeah. 
He you locks you up against those ropes and delivers. Like, he executes his offense and does not let you get yours off. I agree. Be interesting if Hubbard makes any of those adjustments. He, he looks like it. He's looks starting like he's to run on his bike now. Circling, yeah. using that jab. Yep. Very good getting out of the corner there. But now with fatigue, oh, nice inside right hand. Lands flush on Lopez, but iron chin of that kid. And a very good job stepping out, playing that angle game, yep. getting outside, yep. being aware of the ring. But Manny just relentless, get him back in that corner. He really does have such a difficult style to deal with. He, he reminds me of very old school boxers. Rocky Marciano used to fight just like this. He would literally be put his forehead on your chest and just destroy the body. Yeah, you can see how much Lopez likes this style. Like, yes. He's comfortable here. He wants it here. He enjoys it. And Hubbard's letting him do it again. He started off circling right away, and, and now he's falling back into the Lopez trap. Nice digging body shot from Lopez. Lands, and there's the combinations. Fantastic little peekaboo style, tight defense from Lopez. Really doesn't absorb a lot of shots. A lot of those shots land on the gloves, but when he throws the offense, the, he's so tight and compact in there that a lot of those are power shots. They might not look like it, but they really are effective power shots, especially when he's digging to the body. Oh, and a nice combination to the head. Yeah, and that was set up by going to the body. Yep. He does a yep. really good job staying disciplined versatile in his attack to the body and head. Look at that, he just keeps pushing yep. him. Hubbard decided to get out of that corner and, and Lopez just uses those elbows and shoulders to push him back. You know, and, and, and if I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised from the corner of Rondell Hubbard, I mean, you know, Manny Lopez is leaning on you. you he's, he's, he is open for an uppercut. I'm not sure why his coaches aren't showing him, hey, you know, you gotta throw the uppercut inside. Brutal type of fight from Lopez, huh? Yeah. Just a brutal type of fight that you got to deal with when you step in with him. I'm just really surprised that, I mean, Hubbard's, he's going after it. You know, he's by no means beat, but no, he's letting Lopez play his game. Nice, nice inside right hand, and now a nice left hook follows. <laughs> Beautiful job. I tell you, Lopez is a fun fighter to watch. Oh, digging body attack. Yeah, very patient. He doesn't get too wild in there. He makes sure to make uh, his defense a priority, which is always nice Disciplined, to see. Disciplined, like we said before, right? Another round in the bank unofficially, of course, for, uh, for Manny Lopez, I feel. Yeah, I don't know how you could score it another way. You see Lopez kind of implementing everything he wants. Yeah. In the first 30 seconds, we see Hubbard getting active, getting on his bike, getting behind his jab, and then doesn't seem to have the steam and gets sucked into his in Lopez's inside brawling game. And I say brawling, but it it's looked controlled, yes. Very controlled and calculated. He, he's got a good defense. He understands where the body position is. He, he does a very good job setting up his attacks and, and being successful with it. You see so many of his, he's a high percentage uh, lander inside. That's his game, you know, and, and that's a seasoned, disciplined, and experienced fighter. You don't just show up on the first day and be able to do that. No. That's something that takes a long time to develop. That's something that takes a lot of feel, quote unquote, in the fight. Absolutely. Nice. I love how Lopez starts off with that jab. Me too. I wish he would keep on it a little more mix up in that long range with his short game. He's got a good jab. And now Hubbard, you're seeing Hubbard kind of open up. I feel like he's sensing the urgency. He's wild, swinging right hands to the body. He's loading up with a lot of shots, and that could be detrimental as this fight progresses. Well, he's seen that Lopez did a very good job blocking a lot of them and coming back with his own left hook that landed right on the jaw. Now I'm afraid that Hubbard's going to ha not have enough gas yes. to keep that style yes. of attack. Yes. And, and especially if Lopez is, is taking it to the body on him. Very true. You know, it, that's, a, that's a compounding problem. 
And inside, when Lopez is working inside, again, he's got his defense so high and tight that th nothing is really sneaking in unless it's that uppercut that we just saw uh, Hubbard land a little bit ago. Oh, big right hand over the top from Lopez lands beautifully. Hubbard showing a really good chin, too. Absolutely. Yeah, he's, he's definitely in the fight. I just don't think he's, he's playing at his game or, or the, the best game for him. This is where I think he should shine. Yeah, get behind that jab. Yep, yep. Not He shouldn't have blown all that energy With at power. the beginning yep. and the power. He That's should have right. been setting up and, and uh, spread out his power throughout the round behind that jab. And this, so this is to me the trademark of Manny Lopez is as this fight goes on, you're gonna see Manny Lopez bend and give a lot of lateral movement on the hips. When he comes up, he comes up with big power. And you can see him kind of loading it up. But you talk about a relentless pace. You talk about a guy that really is just an expert at smothering. And you're also talking about a guy that can find really small openings with Manny Lopez. Yeah, he's doing a great job switching his hands. You know, he goes yeah. from that body to the head, to the other hand, body, then the head, mixing it up, really sneaking them gloves in there. He knows where that head's going to he be. He really does. And he doesn't have to come out of his protective shell. You're Keeps right. that chin glued to his chest. Yep. He takes a couple there. The sharpness of those hooks is something else. And this is the kind of slugfest that... Hubbard does not want to be in with a guy like Manny Lopez. You know, I think you see that as frustration out of Hubbard That's where right. he's, he doesn't have nothing Urgency. else to do. Yep, he's yep. got to he's got to put something out there. Yep. And uh, instead of going to a skill or finding a way, he, he just ups his power yep. with it, which is an option. If you're going to land. He's sneaking a few in there, yes. but when he's sneaking them, Good job by the referee breaking that up. You know, that happens in the heat of the moment. Lopez did a great job backing up, keeping Staying his calm. hands down, not engaging right. in that aggression That's deal. Right. Um, good job, both fighters. You know, it's it's easy to get emotional in there, especially as you feel that fight pulling away from you. But uh, great job for Lopez not to feed, or feed into it and just... And a great job from Tom Johnson. Tom Absolutely. Johnson, a very seasoned referee, a very, very smart fighter himself and also a guy that understands that heated exchange and when that happens. The, the, the great part of it is, just like you said, you gotta have some discipline in those moments. As we take a look at the Blue Core Shooting Center replay here, we see that pressure from Lopez, and we see that, that desperation, really, a lot of times, is what we're seeing out of Hubbard. He's trying to land a heavy shot to change the course of the fight. But he's doing it where Lopez is uh, most skilled. Yeah, exactly right. It's always easier to beat your opponent in their least skilled area. And here he is right now getting emotional. And, and he's going after it right in the beginning of the round. And if he doesn't make it through, he's going to be really tired here in about 20 seconds. Yep. It's, it's an unsustainable type of um, attack. And... It's emotional. You got to control your emotions. This is really what separates the best from the rest, right? Yeah. You see Lopez unfazed by that right. that extreme tack. Went right to that triple jab, which was was beautiful, and he's right back to the pace. And now, exactly. now it's back in Lopez's game. And right. again, sitting on those ropes is just the wrong place for for a Manny Lopez fight. It's just you just don't want to be there against this kid. You know, and Lopez knew it. He knew he was yes. going to come out heavy. He knew to weather the storm, and then he'd be back, right back to where he wanted to be. You know, and I think you called it perfectly. I think that this is kind of where Manny Lopez is very good at luring you into that kind of fight that he wants you to fight. Manny's corner is asking him to finish it. Beautiful. And you're seeing hooks. him get it. Yeah. Man, he seems to be landing a lot more in here. Yep. You know, this is the kind of, this is the this is a Manny Lopez fight. I mean, it's tailor-made for him. He's going to wear you out. He's going to grind on you. He's going to press the action. He's going to make you fight. And if you don't have 
a full tank of gas, you're in a lot of trouble against Manny Lopez. Well, and if you're going to stay there, Hubbard's yeah. willingly staying against the ropes. He hasn't tried to do one step off. He's actually leaning into him a little bit and uh, got his hands down. And Lopez does a very good job keeping, keeping marks on his hands and coming back over as they come by or as, as they touch him. I love the way Lopez slips shots just like that and comes over the top. And now you're really starting to see the fatigue set in as Lopez just keeps the volume coming. Beautiful overhand, overhand left hook lands perfectly. Good for Hubbard getting his volume up. I think this might be totally. his highest volume here. Totally, yeah. In this round. Shows he's got a lot of heart. Lopez. Yeah, there's no quitting Hubbard at all. It's just that he's 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 utilizing the wrong strategy. That's what this is. Yeah, and it looks like Lopez has changed his strategy a little bit. Even though he's keeping him here, he's not going to that power. He's going on volume, yes. which is really nice. That means that he's... To me, that's a seasoned fighter that Lopez knows yes. he's starting to get tired, but he's not hes not wasting it on all power. Exactly. But he's not going to get out volume, which was uh, very smart and uh, shows his experience. And there was a lot of output from Hubbard as well, and you're seeing those effects right now as we take a look at Rondale Hubbard in the corner right now, Sam. I, I see that, you know, he's, he's, he's really breathing hard. As we take a look again at the Blue Core Shooting Center replay, Manny Lopez, chin down, volume, both hands, pressing the fight. Just, you know, Manny Lopez being Manny Lopez, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I definitely see that, that you know, we're getting into this eighth round. Lopez is feeling that as well. He's feeling the, the conditioning coming in, and he's made a great adjustment. Um, that's something you don't always see from fighters. A that's lot right. of fighters, they get that's tired right. and they go to power. That's they go to right. single one power shot. So good job by Lopez at making that adjustment. Good job on Hubbard too, up in that volume. I think, you know, he's throwing big power at Lopez with not much success. He's got to get something else to sneak something in. Hubbard keeping both hands very low, very dangerous attack or very dangerous approach right now, especially late in the fight with a little bit of fatigue setting in. Technique, as we said, kind of creeps out the window a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, I definitely think he's got to do something. You yeah, know? I, I need to finish. I couldn't imagine that his corner thinks that he's up on rounds here. Right, right. So he's got to get after it. He's got to give it everything he wants or everything he's got. Got a little glove yeah, uh, tape, tape coming off. Yeah. Hubbard's taking some breaths yeah, in there. Yeah, Good for is. him, though. It, it, Smart. You know, it's got, it, he's got it. That shows experience with him as well. Totally. Being able to be take that time, take some big breaths. Got two minutes and 18 seconds left in our final round here. Good. Good head movement, body movement, tight defense up top. Looks like Hubbard snuck one in. And he's had a lot of excess going over with that right hand. Nice. Good left body hook. shot from Hubbard. And this is where we're seeing, man. And this is, okay, so this is what we talked about earlier that shoulder, that elbow locks Hubbard into that corner and allows Lopez, you see Lopez keeping an eye on the body. He's looking for the openings right now. Yeah, and you see how more effective he is in there. His gloves are sticking a lot more than Hubbard's. Good job by Hubbard exactly. trying to get out. Exactly. I wish I would have seen that more from him earlier on in the fight. A digging body shot lands hard for Lopez, and I think he's got Rondell Hubbard hurt a little bit. You saw Hubbard double over a little bit, and beautiful combination right there from Lopez. Dig into the body, coming up over the top, over the, over the right ear. Yeah, I'd see Hubbard making some adjustments, you know, just doing that pitter pat, kind of getting his volume up. You know, good job for him making an adjustment. I think it's just way too late in the yeah. fight to make an adjustment that's going to make a lasting effect or change the outcome of this fight. That's right. I mean, I, I think it's clear Hubbard needs a knockout to win, and Manny Lopez is uh, 
cruising to another Manny Lopez win. I love the sustained body attack that we see out of Lopez. It's just, it's got to make his coaches very happy. Yeah, I like to see the discipline too, even though I would have liked to see him use that jab a little more. He had a lot of success with it. But this is where he's comfortable and he was able to get the fight here each round and put most of the time out of each round here where he wanted it. Yes. And I talked a little bit before about Ooh. that wide stance. Lopez got snuck in a right hook there, yeah, I think, yeah. that stumbled him. Yeah. Nice fight. Good sportsmanship right there. As heated as it gets, it's all done at the end. Beautiful job of these guys. Very, very tough, tough fight. Yeah, good fight for both of them. I feel like... Uh, Hubbard got a lot out of that. We've seen him we seen him make adjustments. He was just a little too late making the adjustments yes. he needed to make. Yes. I think the biggest thing is he let himself get pushed into the ropes and stayed there. That's it. We've seen in the last round he got a little urgency to try to get himself off of there. If he would have been doing that the whole fight, the outcome could have been different. We also seen him yeah. in that last round go to a volume attack instead of going and trying to power. match Lopez's yeah. power. Yeah, agreed. 100% agreed. Hell of a fight, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Unofficially, we take a look again. We uh, see this replay. Always good to see these guys shake hands at the end, you know? Yeah. Manny Lopez with a mile high salute. Yeah. Really exciting for Al Lopez. You know, fighting in Greeley's great, but then come down into Pepsi Center, much bigger venue. Um, much improved as well. For a, a, a guy fighting out of Denver, you can't ask for a bigger, better venue than the Pepsi yeah. Center. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think unofficially I, have it, I had it seven rounds to one. I had uh, Rondell Hubbard winning the second, but I had Manny Lopez putting together the rest and really putting together the kind of fight that, in my opinion, cements him as one of the more difficult fighters to deal with at 144 pounds. That style, that sustained body attack, mixing up the body and the head, but really focusing on the body, lends itself to exhausting your opponent. Yeah, and we got to see, um, you know, it's good to see different opponents. You know, his last opponent for Lopez was a much different style. That's right. Much higher pace. He, he had to use more tools. He wasn't able just to get the fight where he wanted it like he was in this fight. Yeah, agreed. Um, but it's nice to see that he was able to, to get something out of there, stay calm, and he just kept on what was working. Yes, yes. Let's go ahead and throw it back up to Sean Patrick for the official announcement. After eight rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Strasher scores out 80 72. Judge Short scores out 78 74. And Judge Bray scores out 79 73. Declaring a winner by unanimous decision, Manuel. Manuel.